you're talking about how there's like three hours between the tracks and stuff like that, and he's like, there's not local clubs yeah. in each team. How is the is there like a club level format for cycling? Like you said, you compete as GV a lot. Commonwealth yep. Games, you sort of disperse. Do you have like clubs as the same as Aubameyang has? I picked an awful choice for an international team, Gabon. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you have yourself some work to do there, but you, you pulled it off. Mate, FIFA, FIFA 14 knowledge of the flag, yeah. that was it. <laughs> Gabon, so he's there, but he's also got Arsenal. Yeah. Do you guys have like a, a registered club that you're assigned to? Like, are you. Are you Ryan Owens yeah. from GB and da, da, da. no? So uh, not professionally. Um, right. So I'm still a member of my club that I joined. So I should preface this. I joined the first club I joined was Well in Wheelers. They were like a, just a you know local cycling club, um, yeah. and but they've also grown, especially recently, to be massive. Like they've had some really good riders come through their ranks, including um, Laura Kenny. Um, so, no, not, you know, not a bad, not a bad rider. Right? <laughs> exactly, yeah. Um, so they had two of us at the games this year from the club, which was great. Um, from them, when I started specialising in sprint disciplines, I joined SCS Racing in London. Right. Um, SCS has always been a bit like, no one really knows what it means, but I think it's Southeast Sprinters or something. <laughs> but we're just SCS Racing. It is, no. Yeah, and, um, <laughs> yeah so we, we were, um, it was set up by a group of, friends that were training at the London uh, Olympic Velodrome shortly after it opened to the public. Um, and it was great. It was great fun to be a part of. And I'm still really good friends with a lot of the guys from the team. Since then, they've grown to be a decent sized team now. It's not just a group of mates. It's like it's actually a pretty big squad across youth disciplines and everything. Um, but yeah, like I've, I'm still a still a member of them. But we, we're in an interesting and slightly precarious position almost in that to do our job, we have to be in the GB team. Like, if right. I fell out of the top, say, six riders in the country, um, there's not, I can't go sign for a road team like some of the endurance guys because there's not like a, a like a team sport. sky type thing. Yes, that yeah. like um, the road circuit has. You have your your Olympic teams, you have your pro tour teams who would be the ones you'd go see the ride the Tour de France. So you have got right. Team Ineos. Um, and Quick Step and a bunch of others. Um, oh, Team Sky is not a thing anymore. <laughs> That's yeah, just I, 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 I still call them Team Sky all the time, so they're, <laughs> they're still getting money out of the sponsorship. Um, but yeah, the more, um, free, more free pull more on the Over and Emails podcast. You are welcome. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if Sky want to sponsor you. Yeah, then Sky want to come in. Um, but yeah, it's um, they they have a bit more, uh, a few more options. Like if they fall out of it endurance track team if they're decent on the road then they could sign for even a continental continental team who race at the british pro races and right. they'll be able to offer a contract to some of the better riders on the team and that as well so they have a lot more of a professional structure whereas sprint cyclists you're on the national team or you're out of a job and you're looking for something wow. something <laughs> else. so yeah there's been some scary examples of that in the past where people people have found out short notice that they're gone um whereas they they put in some more measures to make it a bit more you get more warning now um mm -hmm. so you can start to set something up but yeah i'm still uh, I, I still love being a part of that whole team i'm still in the whatsapp chats and everything everything like that um i've not been able to represent them for a long time i won them the national sprint championships one year um which was really really nice to do that was once i was on the british team yeah. I represented them at this, the Nationals and won. Um, but other than that, yeah, nothing. So the club circuit, like on the amateur level, is great. Like there were, there, you know, there's so many opportunities to get into cycling now that there weren't when I was coming through. But um, right. yeah, no, no professional circuit for sprinters anyway. So, but that's that's such an elite level to have to maintain your performance at. Then that is, because it's not like you can go away and sort of drop off for a couple of weeks fair enough it's you're not competing week on week like a footballer but you have to be ready to go when somebody says it's time to go yeah there's no like um yeah like you know journeyman midfielder <laughs> and like league two who used to be like a star player in the premier league or anything like that like there's no safety net like yeah. it's, it's, there's nothing so yeah it's a, it's stressful in that way sometimes I love the thought of you being like a cult hero Seb Larson of track cycling. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Oh, that's that is honestly. I cannot. I really struggle to wrap my head around having to maintain such a. Level.